disorder. Substance addiction. Bulimia. OCD. Wanna swap? One in two. A flip of a coin. That's the same chance we'll experience a mental illness by the time we're 40. A dollar a day can help change those odds and bring hope to those in need. Well, I'm certain that has you thinking because many of you out there can, can relate to what we just saw. I can certainly relate to it on a personal basis. And as you saw, that one and two, it's, it's a coin flip. And here to talk more about this fantastic initiative, it's called A Dollar A Day. I'm joined by one of its co-founders, Brendan Paddock. Brendan, welcome to the show. Great to have you here. Really appreciate the time. Brendan, let's talk about um, the, the inspiration behind this. Tell, tell me about yourself and your co-founders, where this idea came from. Yeah, sure, Derek. Uh, the foundation was formed back in 2018 and it really uh, started where all good things in Canada do on uh, Water Street, St. John's, Newfoundland, when Alan Doyle, uh, as most people know from Great Big Sea uh, fame, and uh, Andrew Fury and I were walking down the street and uh, got the proverbial, hey, buddy, can you spare a dollar? And uh, by the fourth or fifth time that happened, we sort of said, man, I don't remember this many people being on the streets like that. And Alan told us a story about an encounter he had several years before that caused him to put away a dollar a day uh, for a year or two, and he donated it to a local mental health and addictions facility uh, in St. John's. And when he told us about that story, we said, hey, we should do that. And uh, we didn't mean just Andrew and I and Alan. We meant everybody should do that. And as you say, uh, mental health and addiction uh, impacts so many people. There's zero degrees of separation. And it's really all of our responsibility to do something about it. And that was kind of how the foundation was found. Yeah, and Brendan, on, you know, just thinking of Ottawa in particular, when, when you talked about that, that walk that you had, uh, I think a lot of people in Ottawa can relate to that. We, we're seeing more uh, addiction and, and mental health issues, and certainly the, the homelessness is, is a crisis, the opioid crisis, things like that sort of come to mind. And we're not the only community. You know that's happening right across the country and, and, and around the world. What, what response have you, have you received so far? Uh, it's been incredible. I mean, you know, the stats don't lie. One in five Canadians every year will experience a mental health or addiction episode. And by the time you're 40 years old, close like me, you know, pushing 40, 50% uh, of us will have experienced a mental health or addiction issue. So it's something that touches close to home to so many people. And when we set out, we had this goal that we'd like to be able to someday say to individual donors that 100 cents of every dollar you donate will go to a, a proven program on the front lines of mental health care in Canada. And we achieved that in year two. And we did that through the support of corporate partners who helped cover our overhead, like Rogers, who was one of our first, if not the first corporate partner, uh, to achieve that, that goal. So the response is partially because it touches you so closely, but equally as much uh, because uh, 100 cents of every dollar you donate goes right to a, a worthy cause. Well, we're, we're definitely proud to be a part of that, Brendan, and, and thanks for that mention. You know, certainly appreciate that. So uh, how, how do people get involved then? How, how easy is it to get involved? Well, one of the interesting things about our foundation is we're virtual. Uh, we don't have much brick and mortar. So we also don't have fancy fundraisers, black tie events, no gold block bronze, platinum sponsors, we have equality. So what we right. ask is that you join our cause and you give the same as everybody, a dollar a day. And it's as simple as going to a dollar a day dot CA and signing up. Uh, we make it easy. You can pay it quarterly, uh, annually, monthly, any way you want, uh, and join our dollar a day or community. Yeah, and you mentioned mental health and, and addiction programs. That, that happens across the country. Brendan, what, what, what is the criteria? How, how do you work and, and, and form these partnerships with those organizations? Yeah, so we partnered in the early days and continuing on with the uh, Canadian Mental Health Association, the Mental Health Commission of Canada, uh, do our own sort of uh, digging into programs uh, that uh, are doing great work and in our backyard and, and we've uh, ran a campaign for the last three or four years called change makers where we asked the general public to nominate programs uh, in their hometown that are doing the hardest work at the darkest time and uh, we, sh we shine a light on them and uh, we support them and you know the old saying it's not not about not just about the money well sometimes it is just about the money it's that opioid addiction uh, facility that has 12 beds and turns four people away every night 
uh, you know, or it's a counseling center that has a big lineup or a waiting list of people who need help if we could just have more counselors. And, and we try to identify, you know, proven programs with great track records that, uh, you know, we can quite frankly just help do, do more work. Yeah, and you know, you mentioned the beginnings in 2018. I can't imagine how much that need has grown in almost the past three years, going through a pandemic. When when I think about mental health and and certainly addiction, we we have seen um, uh, an amazing rise in that. Unfortunately, Brandon. Yeah, and uh, but you know, our dollar a day our community has stepped up. We started in 2018. We only supported four causes. We donated sixty thousand dollars. We thought that was great in the startup year. Year two expanded to nine causes and one hundred and fifty thousand or so. 2020, when the pandemic hit, uh, we actually flourished probably because we weren't that brick and mortar type charity. We were virtual. Uh, we distributed seven hundred thousand dollars, and in 2021, we supported over fifty causes proud to say at least two in every province and territory in the country and we distributed 1.1 million dollars so well over the two million mark collectively uh we'll certainly blow through three million this year as we go wow. up the year and uh so as the as the need has risen so too of people's hands to help brendan have, have has this hit close to home for you uh yeah i guess we all have our reasons you know uh I always kid that Alan works in a dangerous industry, entertainment. Mm. It's hard to, you know, see a day go by where you don't read some bad news. In my case, uh, my mother took her life about 10 years ago. Uh, we reacted as, unfortunately, many families do. We got back to our hometown, held the funeral as quickly as we could, and got out of town and didn't talk about it. Right. And that hurt. And yeah. uh, so it was a it was a great moment when I went to my dad and told us told him about the idea of a dollar a day and. He sort of shook his head, yes, a tear in his eye, and there's been no looking back. So we all have our close connections to mental health and addictions issues. Yeah, I really appreciate you sharing that, that, that personal story with us, Brandon. Thanks so much for joining us. A reminder, a dollar a day.ca is the place to go.